Hi, I'm Matt. I work at the Children's Museum, and these past four days I set out to see if I could try to create a water clock like the one at the museum using only things I could find here at home. Ooh, but maybe I could just put this in. Well, maybe not. Uh, anyway, was I successful? Well, you'll just have to watch the videos each day to find out. Here's today's. Okay, almost five minutes has passed now since I pulled that tab off of that upper tank and started the water running out. You can see that that spice container is getting pretty full now with water. It is getting close to dumping out into the container below, and we'll see what happens when it does in just a few more moments. It's getting very close to tipping. Back up a little bit. All right. It's getting ready. Here we go. All right, I don't know if you could see, but that water filled up there. It started going over the tube, and now we can see that the water in this container is draining out as we speak. And now we look where it's going, over the tube down to here, and it is filling up this container. So now if we look down here at the numbers, we can see that it is starting to fill up from the number three going up to the number four. This container is still draining here. It takes about two minutes to drain, so it'll be a little while. I won't necessarily record the whole thing, but when that finishes draining right there, this will be up to the number four and the water clock will have been a success changing over from 3.55 to 4 o'clock. There it is, my friends. I can't believe it. It actually worked. Well, there you have it. The water finished draining out of here into here, so we can now see that the time is 4. Zero, zero, four o'clock. Telling time on here is just like telling time on the Children's Museum's water clock. You see the number that the level of water is up to here for the hours, and the number that the level of water is up to here for the minutes, four o o. And we can see that the water is still draining, ready to keep telling time as we're talking. Now, if you know the Children's Museum water clock, you know that, of course, there are still a lot of things that are a lot different about my clock here. First of all, this water is not blue. I could just add some blue dye, like the one at the museum, but my clock is also a lot splashier than that one, and I don't want to get blue dye everywhere. Um, also, on my water clock, when the water gets to this one here and fills all the way up to the 12, that's it. It's got nowhere else to go. At the museum, that water clock has another siphon that takes the water out of the hour side and then a pump that pumps it back up to the tank at the top. So I'd need to figure out something like that if I wanted this to even be closer to that water clock. But also remember that Bernard Guitton, who created that one, was a genius. He took six and a half years to create that clock with all sorts of cool resources and technology and tools. I just created this one in four days with stuff that I had laying around the house, but that was the whole point. And that's what made it so much fun. And, oh. So, now you've seen how I could create a water clock with things here at my house, and now I want to see how you can create a water clock with things that you find at your house. And it doesn't even need to be anywhere near as complicated or weird as this one here. Um, remember I said that the very first water clocks were just two containers, one draining into the other one. Maybe you make something like that with your parents or your adults at home. Uh, maybe you have a, a rubber duck that floats up and down with the changing level of water, and maybe that helps tell the time. So, I don't know. It could be absolutely anything, but I want to see it. Create a water clock with your family. Send us photos, send us videos at hashtag TCM at home. Hashtag TCM A-T-H-O-M-E. I'd love to see it and I cannot wait. So thank you again so much for watching and thank you for joining me as we bring the Children's Museum to you at home. Have a great one.